everyone, welcome to WW Brawl. And speaking of that, we do have a, you know, a fight in the backstage or before the show. As these two had some beef ever since Hiroki just attacked, you know, Dusaku at, after his match against Tayo. You know, it was a nice kick to the gut. What a way to start WWE Brawl here as we're on the road to Conquest. I stomped there, just stomping and on a wheel kick. And just throws him into the crate. And I oh, just smash his face into the crate. This was that kick there. Just throws him onto the floor, that fourth concrete. Concrete, concrete. Punch there. Now kick to the gut by Hiroki. I think these two will have a match next on the next episode of WWE Brawl for the King of the King of the Cruiserweights tournament. And, oh, nice neck breaker! In reverse now, kick to the gut. Oh no, punch to the face! Punch to the face by Yusaku and into a nice power slam by Hiroki Moriyama. That's flatlining there. And oh, what is this? Oh, into the oh, the, the production cart punch there. Neck breaker onto that. The little padding there, just to keep the wires away from from these connect here tonight. Of course, we're still alive here in Portland, Oregon. You know, saw the capacity car after an amazing, you know, event that is WWE, you know, Destiny Calls. You can watch it wherever you want in our streaming services. Just, uh, you know, just have some fun. Go we'll roll up here now. Oh, right to the production cart. Just throws him again into the into the floor. It's cold drink. What is this? What is this? What's he going for? No, oh, what the? Oh, dude, it's the water. And send a message before their match next episode. And we have a cruiser, we have a King Cruiserweight match here tonight. And of course, one of the referees checking on Hiroki here tonight. What a way to start off the show. Oh, what a, what a start off the show. As we do have uh, another King of the, uh, King of the Ring, King of the Cruiserweight Tournament. Well, I've made Gonzalez as your commentator here tonight. But, we do have this match going on as one of the... It's almost the, the Elite Eight of the tournament so far, so we're going to be looking forward to see this match. Of course, the winners, the four winners will go on to, uh, to Conquest, I think, or Conquest, or, I don't remember, <laughs> but it's been a long time. The winner will face out to become one of the contenders for the Cruiserweight champion, but you know, Katsuki Bago came out, but here comes this man, Gearless Joe. This man has been impressive in his first match here, but here tonight, he's facing against a tough as his opponent in, in Bakugo. You know, Bago defeated Dante, uh, Dante Suzuki at his first round match. Uh, as well, by uh, of course, uh, you know, Joe defeated Tsuya Kordake here tonight. Uh, uh, back then, but here tonight, let's see who who wants him more in this match. 
is where the same question goes. Who is more hungrier? Who is more willing to go to the distance and to go for speed? And yes, that's a cake reference, but who cares? And oh, and I smell the belly. And here we go. The Cruiserweight. The King of the Cruiserweights Tournament. It's on its way here. And now Irish Whip, Jawbreaker by Katsuki. And now Bakugo just using his aggression to take on Joe. But Joe is more, not experienced, but more in this type of environment. He's more focused. Here's a dude focused with a shot to the face. I think he might be a boxer, yes, but he is a street fighter. He made his money from fighting in the streets. So Bargo has to be more careful. Yeah, he might be cocky. But he is has to be focused. Now Bago is made his debut back in the late 2010s. His uh his CAW career. But this is the first time Joe Oh gosh. Those punches to the face. Holy crap is that Oh my gosh. It, oh, the knee to the face. But Joe, he doesn't give a damn. He is focused. He is hungry. Looks like the referee was in the way. But capitalized by Katsuki Bago Bago with a nice short thrust into the face. It's of course. Now these two, who who wants the more? And there is a spell by suplex by Joe. Joe is focused. He is a deep focus again. I think Bugger is to put his hands up. But those shots in the face are not looking too good for him. With the punches. Oh my gosh, that's even a KO ball. Oh my goodness. These punches to the face of Bakugo. I don't know, Car. I don't want Bakugo has him face someone like this. But this man in general, is he. He's a top talent. He's a feeder top talent. If maybe one day. CAW can pick him up. I'll uh, click cover. Here by one. There goes a nice neck breaker there by by Bakugo. And just that explosive explosive aggression of Bakugo. You know, Bagel may be good, but, and he is, granted he is, but, but Joe's more hungrier. And oh my gosh, again, the shuts the face. That, that face will not look pretty after this match. And it's not going to, with those shuts the face. Bagel, I have never seen how difficult he's going through. It looked at those punches, but no, Bargo said, no way. And he's having me to capitalize with a nice drop kick. One of the best drop kicks in the business. One. Pick up by two. That's real kick to the face. Oh my goodness, those punches to the face. Oh my gosh. Reverse now. Grabbing the arm. Knee shot to the face. Punch to the gut. Punches, punches. No reverse. Kick to the gut. Bagio now. DDT! And that was with authority. 
The single arm DDT. And now Bobby on the fly. Oh, no, nice shot. Missed there with that senton. And all back to business we go. Oh my god, a big boot. Yo, this. Just put all the damage on Bago. I think this is the first time we see Bago in trouble. In a long time. Look at straight in the face and into a face buster. Top rope. Oh my gosh! Out of nowhere! With the jerk! Oh, KO blow! I would have caught that move. That was just elbow. And oh my goodness, this man is on a war path. And the war path against Bongo. He's letting them, everyone know in this tournament that he is gamed. He is hungry. Into the outside. And a short thrust onto the, onto the international announce table. And what is this? Oh my goodness, I said on Powerbomb. Those punches right to the face like, get on Bakugo. Bakugo's in trouble. Bakugo's hurting. The big boot to the face. Oh my god, this elbow drops to the back. Tell him to come bring it. Tell him where you got, Bargo. Bargo said, I'll show you what I'm going to do. It Flatliner. A lot of smart moves there. And into a foot DDT. This match has been going 100 miles per hour. And now Bargo in control as the quickness and speed and the aggression. And, oh, that's nice elbow shot to the face. That's what Bago's famous for. The explosive aggression. Makes every match. In every single row. Worth something to behold. And that's why Bago is very cool. Very aggressive, but Joe has been, you know, dominating most of the match. I mean, Joe is so unpredictable to the point like he is an underdog. As much as we say in this, in this tournament, in his way of life, is he is an underdog. But something like Bagago is more of a Kind of a veteran in this match. I mean, his anime came out in 2016. You know, My Hero Academia came out of that era. Well, Mega Box came out in 2018. So that's why. Which one's 17 on, depending on My Hero Academia fans, but. That's what's so interesting about this match is that he's a veteran compared to Joe. And Joe is schooling him. But like Bago, he just has aggression. And that's what the veteran instincts of Bago is, you know. Bago, Bago, Bago has been in CAW since the late 2010s. 
I mean, I don't, I don't know about you, but I haven't seen Joe, maybe to my knowledge, in CAW. This is the first time ever that he is in this match. In this, in this type of environment, something like this. And then that's uh, superplex. So that's what we look forward to seeing. Oh man, it's going to set it up for the landmine. Incoming. Got it. Cover. One, two, no. And now Bakugo now trying to use the aggression. Yeah, Bakugo is kind of more of a veteran than Joe is. Oh my goodness, nice. Caught him up. Backbreaker. And my set it up for that knockout blow. Knockout blow coming. No. DDT with the float over variation. If it was Man Nation, you can take a shot. <laughs> oh, shit, to them. One, two, kick out by two. That's so weird that because of certain CAW leagues we're here tonight, we exist, so that's cool. But anyways, missed there. And a DDT impressive there. Bago now. What is this? Tornado DDT. Impressive. Apparently, apparently Lucha's style is pretty cool. I know that's cheesy. I know that it is. Come on. But hey, it's impressive. I missed with a shot there. Waited. They did too. And he crowned him. As Joe, he was the bestler. Chase of Jimmy <laughs> Jimmy King. I have to watch that movie, quote unquote. I need to I need to watch that movie like, like later on. Cover with the Northern Lights Suplex. Two. We got by two. They got him up with the Hauser's Impact. He got it. Perhaps that could be it. It could be over. Quick cover. One, two. Kick up by two. And a big boot again. And again with a shot that into nice knee to the back of the head. The point is now. Draw kick. Oh, Fabio, perhaps setting it up. He's waiting. Yo, know, Joe, to get up. Oh, no, he missed. Crash and burn. Just onto the floor. Big boot. Perhaps this is one of the amazing matches. This is the beginning of the of the show. I mean, we just had chaos started. You know, we still have a long show to go. As we have, you know, we have you taking on Makoto Makoto here tonight. We do have you know Ray Mika making her debut against Samus Rand. And we have the main event as in her debut of Space Dan taking on Burkut. A lot more here tonight. This is going to be one of the biggest WWE Brawl events we had in a while. And into a DDT. And here comes Impaler. Let's have a shot to that. Tell him to get up. What's that? He's asking, where's that aggression? Jaw jacking. 
Tell him to come bring it. And the punches. The punches on Joe. Shot there. Close line. Or heart attack, whatever you want to call it. I'll cover here. Pick up by one. What's with that? I'll let the chair drop. I'll cover. One. Pick by one. Get to the gut. Roll up. Cover. Pick by one. Kill by none. Roll break. Take him down now. Look, hooking that leg. And look, hooking that leg with a straight shooter. Single bust to lay crab. Miss with that. This was, this was that cover. One by one. Oh, he got him with the hazard's impact. He got it. He might set it up for the landmine. He got it there. Lego's trying to maybe want to pin him. Oh, he might go up. What's this? Oh my gosh! A knock and a blow. Two and three. That should do it out of nowhere. Holy crap! Just like that, Joe picked up the win. And he moves on to the finals. The Fatal Four. We have one. We have one here tonight. I said we got, ladies and gentlemen, one of the match so far. And those, we'll be right back. What a. It. Took just one shot. Well, hit him once. It took him this one to end it all. And ladies and gentlemen, like I said, we'll be right back.